And good morning again, but it was a bad night across the middle of the country. Over 120 tornadoes tore through the Midwest. The death count stands at five this morning, but will likely go higher. Our Dean Reynolds is joining us from Wichita, Kansas. Dean, uh, bring us up to speed. Well, the cleanup crews, Bob, are out in the Wichita area, which was spared major damage, although there was some damage to McConnell Air Force Base and some trailer parks in the area. But the real problem was about 200 miles south of here in a little town called Woodward, Oklahoma, where the five fatalities were reported and where the siren transmitter was knocked out by the twister that hit shortly after midnight. So the people who had been hearing the sirens on earlier twisters uh, were left completely unprepared. Even then, though, the warning from the National Weather Service for Woodward came out only three minutes before the actual twister touched down. Um, as I say, damage is being assessed uh, in the Wichita area. Kansas had the brunt oh, wow. of these tornadoes. 120 tornadoes you mentioned, about 100 of them uh, happened here in Kansas. And the storm is not over. So uh, that was my next question. What happens now? What do we expect now? Well, of particular interest are the states of Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan uh, as the storm moves to the northeast from here. But also, it has such a large footprint that areas of Texas and Louisiana are also at risk. So people in that very wide scope of land should be alert today. Bob? All right. Dean Reynolds, who's seen a tornado or two. Thank you very much, Dean.